So you want to look this badass in Cyberpunk 2077, uh, this kind of like a rocker boy or just a motorbike type of outfit. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get all of these outfit, the full outfit, so you can look this badass in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, these are all going to be legendary quality and they are easy to get. And not only that, I'm going to show you guys how you can get a lot of armor, over 3000 armor on your build. That way you are a lot tankier that enemies don't take you out that easy. So if you guys are going to go enjoy the video, hit me with a like and let's get into this. All right, the first item in the list is going to be located right here on Santo Domingo, right? It's going to be a pair of glasses. Uh, one of my favorites in the game. I'm glad I could find like a legendary ones, right? So Santo Domingo right here. If I scroll in, it's going to be on this area inside the Rancho Coronado. And then you scroll in more. Um, just look at where I'm at in the map and trying to locate yourself to get right here. There is a fast travel if you have it right here. The Almonecar and Jerez. So come right here. There is a bridge right here. But you want to be on this side on this corner. Because here where we're going to be, right? That's the bridge, right? You want to be right here. Um, take a look where we at. And then come in on this area where it's a lot of trash. Under the bridge right if you come all the way to this side on this corner there's gonna be uh, this girl uh, laying down right here and just take the aviators glasses from her now taking a look at them they look just this one right here this is the one the scratch resistance polarized rocker aviators now don't do the same mistake that i did i end up picking them up with only two mod slots like i said i got this first i got this by accident and i didn't save the game beforehand i didn't want to go all the way back so two mod slots that i have in here i'm gonna have to go with them but you can get three mod slots on the glasses also so for the next item, we want to be coming right here on Watson, right? Where we're going to find the shirt. So right inside of Kabuki area in Watson, right here where I'm at, that's where you want to go. And there is a road right there that you can take. If you follow that road, eventually you're going to get exactly where I'm at. And that's going to be the best point to be when you want to go get this shirt. From this point on, follow the same road that I'm showing you. It's gonna look like a Chinatown kind of vibe. If you follow this, you're gonna see that fast travel point right there on top. And that's where we wanna go, right? We're gonna wanna go right there. You're gonna see this fast travel is gonna be the left, but you wanna take a right right here, and go up these stairs. So once you come up the stairs, eventually you're gonna find this body on the ground and on it is gonna be the vest that we're looking for, which is the rocker vest. So the next item is gonna be located right here on the Badlands all the way in the bottom, right? The bottom side of the map. So in here on the Badlands, there is uh, this road. Uh, there is this one that goes and kind of has like a split, right? So you want to be in between like just this one right here. You want to be right in the middle. Put a waypoint in there. So in here we are in the middle of nowhere in the Badlands, right to the right side. There is the you can you can see a little bit of night city, but to the left side, right here where we want to go. We're gonna go and find this van right here destroyed. It's gonna be a little bit tough to see at night because I'm on the night side. Um, oh, it's getting in the morning. It's becoming early. Um, but here we're gonna find a legendary. Uh, the polycarbonate nomad shirt with reinforced seams now remember i'm i just found this one with three mod slots on it i'm gonna reload the game and try to get a one with four mod slots as you see now i have one with four mod slots and that's what you want to do right before you pick it up save your game load back the game in until you get one with four mod slots the next item in the list is going to be some boots located inside of Watson. In Watson, if I scroll in real slowly, we're going to be inside of Kabuki, Kabuki area, this one right here. Now on the north side, right, if I scroll in more, there is this circle right here. You want to be around right here between, uh, it's going to be between, if you scroll all the way in, between the weapon shop and the food place, right? So from this, right, behind is there is this circle, right? 
and then a good way to know if you're here right you can check this uh kind of like a pathway right on top of us so by the right side of it there is his entrance right so we want to come in here and then take a left in here come down the stairs and then in here this is gonna be this uh elevator right we're gonna use this elevator to go to the third floor once you get to the third floor take out take a left right on the left side of this elevator right you're gonna find these uh legendary gold tea pit manganese steel boots all right for the next item we're gonna be located in santo domingo area so in santo domingo area if i scroll in inside of this area right here which is rancho coronado um it's gonna be right here on this road which is kind of like on the south of it right so if i scroll in just a little bit more you see this is the the road on, on the bad land part of it so once you get in this area right this is the area right here which is the road and right there you see there's something going on with two police officers right there now it seems like they are kind of like corrupt uh if they see you they might start shooting you so trying to sneak in and just grab the pants that we're gonna find in here which is gonna be the reinforcer dual layer tacky cargo pants now once you equip the pants the pants they do look like this now even though they're quite nice and they do fit the outfit uh this is not what i use right i do use something else which is this right here now i'm gonna show you guys how you can get this uh this is easy but same time it requires a little bit of luck to get it but the good thing is about it is because you're gonna be able to craft it at any point that you want so these pants are located inside of a clothing vendor that's how i got them and a good part about it is that i got actually the crafting spec of it which means i can crafting at any point i want and upgrade them if i want for the better quality so the location of it is going to be inside of haywood just about the left side of it right here on this clothing vendor here is where you can find it at least for me but look for you and any clothing vendor until you find them right so let me know which one you find them on the comment section below so for the next item in the list it's going to be located right here on the bottom side of your map uh you know there's nice city and here on the south side of your map you're gonna find this area right here if you scroll in uh you do have a, a checkpoint right there if you want to fast travel right there which is the regional airport this is kind of like airport and you want to come right here where i have my pinpoint uh where we're gonna find that hat right we're gonna come around this area so once you get around here and you get to the waypoint that i just showed you guys you're gonna see this kind of like a watchtower right there and you want to climb it and there is where you're gonna find what we're looking for which is a nice hat that's gonna i feel like it's gonna fit the outfit right so get out of your car take a look on this and just go up just climb around until you get up there climb this one right here cement back then come over like so and then go up and we're gonna find that legendary head just right here now once you get everything that you're looking for that i showed you guys in the video this is how your character will look like honestly my favorite looking uh, armor set so far in the game that i got and uh, yeah it just looks badass right so it looks like a rocker boy <laughs> really badass now you see the armor we have only 974 we can get a lot more than that by equipping some mods on the armor that's why i did recommend getting a lot of mod slots on your clothing that way you can be a lot more tanky once you equip these mods so to find these mods you want to go all the way to watson right here on this location that i'm showing you guys under this bridge right here now once we get in here this is where you want to be right uh around this area right here that way you can just go straight in the solemn progress is going to be right there that's we where we're going to find this mod go inside in here and then kill everybody in there you can loot everything but you want to come in this box right here where you have the crafting spec for the armadillo mod this is what you want to get in here so once you find these mods right you're gonna want to come in here on the crafting and you're gonna find it all the way in the bottom on your crafting it's gonna be called the 
armadillo mods now as you see they are common mods and the way we're gonna be getting a epic or rare quality is gonna be by having our character with the tech ability on 18 now i do recommend having it at 12 at least but 18 also will work a lot better now the reason why is because you want to go on the crafting tree you want to look for this talent right here greasy monkey allows you to craft epic items you want to have true craftsman's man which is allow you to craft rare items x nihilo which grants a 20 percent chance to craft an item for free and also we have the efficient upgrades which will grant you a 10 percent chance to upgrade an item for free so with all these perks that i'm showing you guys uh, with them together once you have them activated they will give you a chance to get uh, rare or epic items out of that common mod that you're going to be crafting so once you craft a bunch of them go back on your inventory and then go on your items any one of them and you go click on the mod slots scroll all the way down until you find those mods that you just craft now i just craft this one you see we got a lot of blue ones and then scroll down there is the the green ones which is the uncommon and then there is the uh, white ones which is the common ones so once you have everything equipped with the mods on all of your clothing you're gonna get over 3000 armor easily right that's about what i have and keep in mind i only have two more slots on the glasses and two more slots on the hat if i had one more slot on each one of them that's going to be even more armor and not only that the mods are blue which is rare quality if they were purple which is the epic quality this is going to be even higher armor right so just keep that in mind and that's how you can get this legendary outfit with a lot of armor that's it guys that's all i have for the video let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video hit me with a like and i'll see you guys in the next one